What is going on guys? Noon here with MMO Play, bringing your first look in and presence video into Boyd, a free-to-play MMO RTS. Now this game is currently in closed beta. Um, it took me quite a while to get a beta key for it, so um, it's going to be kind of difficult to get in if you guys do find an interest in this game. And this is a game, this is a game I definitely got to say you got to keep your eyes on, guys, because this one I've had a ton of fun playing. And this is what I'm highly recommending because I've enjoyed the gameplay so far. Now, I'm not used to MMORTS, so I didn't think it was be too good or really um, get a good feel or really enjoy the game overall. But this game is um, it's simplified. It's fun, and it really makes me enjoy the MMORTS genre just by the way they've approached this game. Now, it's not as hardcore or anything as StarCraft 2, but, I mean, this game is definitely competitive and a lot of fun so far. So, we're not going to go ahead and play online because, like I said, um, the closed beta, there's not too many people on when I'm on, so it's kind of hard to find an online match. So, we're going to go ahead and play with bots, which I strongly suggest you guys do if you guys get into the game. So, um, you kind of get a feel for the different maps and stuff like that, kind of, uh, develop strategies with the map layouts, because each one's different, there's different ways to approach it, and, uh, kind of strategize, um, how you're playing, so it's good to get a good feel for each of the maps before you play online, so that's kind of what I've been doing, I've been getting a feel for the game, coming up with strategies, see what works, what doesn't work, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and select the first map over here, we'll do, um... We'll do easy so we're not having too much trouble, and I can kind of break down and uh, really explain and uh, kind of get a quick match in to kind of show you how the game plays. So, all right, so here we are. You can see the map over here. Um, each map is different, so let's go ahead. This is our spawner. This is where our units go, and uh, this is going to spawn units every second or so, or uh, every few seconds it'll spawn one. And basically, use your left click to uh, highlight to select the units you want and right click to send them where you want to go. So you can use WSAD to move, adjust the camera or move the mouse or you can use um, the corners of the map. So we're going to go ahead and use WSAD because I find, uh, I don't know, it just works for me. We're going to keep selecting units to go over here to get these stronger units and then we're going to send them along their way to keep capturing different bases and the whole objective of the game is to capture each of the spawners as you can see them over here. This is kind of grayed off because we haven't really uh, ventured our way over there yet but um, the whole goal is um, capture all these spawners. If you can capture all the spawners and um, kind of take it away from your enemy it'll make the enemy... Um, It'll make the enemy's job much, much tougher to kind of get a advantage over you. So some maps, it's really, really good. You want to rush the uh, the spawners over here. I find um, I find it's a good way to kind of get the advantage and stuff like that is uh, by getting um, much, much more uh, number of troops than your enemies kind of right off the bat to kind of overwhelm them with uh, troops. Even if they're not strong and you got these basic units, um, it seems like the bigger numbers, much, much bigger numbers, will um, kind of win. So, as you can see, we're making quick progress. We got a spawner down here. We got a spawner over here. We're going to highlight those and kind of continue trying to take over this. As you can see, the enemy is getting over here. So, uh, we'll let these guys kind of take the enemy out and then we'll send our good amount of numbers to kind of finish off the job. And there we go. We made some quick progress and we captured it. So, let's go see how we're doing down here. Seems like we're doing fine. We're going to go ahead and highlight these guys and... Um, We'll send them over here. We'll send these guys over there too. And uh, like I said, we gotta keep some. We gotta keep fast progress in the game. So it's like other RTS. I mean, you gotta keep. Um, you gotta keep really, really good map awareness. You gotta stay track of everything that's going on. And like I said, the game is simplified. A simplified version of an RTS, but it can be really, really competitive. It can be super fun to play with friends. And so far, this is. I think it's an awesome way to kind of introduce people into the MMO RTS genre. Um, it's super, super fun. So. Let's go ahead and keep getting units over here to these tanky guys. Um, we're going to send, nope, we're going to keep these guys in here. We're going to get all these guys to kind of start defending. Because like I said, we got a multitude building up. Um, numbers, numbers is great. So that's always something we want to keep um, keep track of. So there we go. We took out those guys. We got a multitude of troops over here. We're going to let these them defend. And um, let's go ahead and see. We're going to send these guys over here. These guys are all starting to build up, so let's go ahead and send them. Uh, let's send them down over here. We're going to start, um, let's see, I guess we'll select half of these and have them defend, and then all of these guys are going to start defending, and uh, we're going to make sure we're going to keep these uh, these kind of ranged troops uh, still stacking over here. So 
There we go. We're doing a good job defending. We got a ton of troops coming over this way. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and invade over here. We're gonna send these guys to invade over there. We're gonna get give them some backup. Select these troops, put them back over here. Keep um keep a good ranged army being built over here, and uh, we should have no trouble defending as they come over here. We took these over, and now let's go ahead and take this spawner. So there we go. We're doing a good job. Select like these guys, put them back into our tanky troops, ranged troops. And like I said, it's good. You got to get used to these maps. You got to keep good map awareness and keep track of everything that's going on. There we go. I think we're going to take this spawner. All right, we did a good job taking the spawner. We're going to keep them there to defend the spawner in the meantime or to fight. All right, it seems like uh, seems like it's putting up a little bit of a fight over there. So let's go ahead and put these guys over here. We're going to highlight these guys, put them over here. And I think we're going to select all of these and take this spawner. So we're going to go ahead and do a huge rush into the spawner and take it. And uh, while they're invading over there, we're going to put more troops into here and start making some more. These guys are going to continue defending. These guys are super tanky and they're really, really tough. So they should have no trouble holding their own. We're going to send them to attack these guys and uh, kind of protect our spawners over here. And then we're going to keep building another army. And now we're making our progress, making another attack over here. And once we attack that, we'll start uh, We'll start moving our way down. And it seems like the enemy is not really making too much... Um, too much effort to kind of take the spawners we have over here, even though they could probably easily take it from us. But um, let's go ahead and take these guys, put them in there, put these guys in here. We have a ton of troops over here, so let's go ahead and send them this way. And uh, it seems like just the numbers we have, is, I think we should be able to kind of obliterate this over here. So let's go ahead and send these guys to go back them up. We're going to highlight these guys to take this spawner and these guys to take the spawner. And I think we should probably are going to be wrapping up this um this match. We make some quick progress. Now, this was on easy, so I do recommend you guys trying it on hard or normal, depending what you're comfortable with. But um, each map is different. There's different ways to kind of approach it and strategize. And I strongly suggest you, uh, you do that because it'll really, really help with online play. But um, let's go ahead and keep highlighting and sending these guys over here. We're going to send the just the normal minions to kind of help out, even though they're not too strong. I mean, numbers. Numbers is great. So, okay, we got tons of troops over here, and I guess we're going to send them in. And we're going to finish this game. This is about it. We're kind of hitting the, the home stretch here. We have pretty much complete map domination. We took the last spawner, and all they have is that one troop left to create minions, and they can no longer create minions. And that's a victory. So there we go, guys. Um, the game is kind of fast. Um, it's not super fast. It has a good pace to it. Like I said, you can try it on easy, kind of get a good feel, and kind of work your way up to normal and hard. That's kind of what I've done. Um, a few maps I can kind of I can complete and earn victories on hard. Other maps I can't get victories on hard because I am uh, I'm still kind of coming up with strategies and stuff like that. But I mean, it's a fun game. This game is an absolute blast. Um, like I said, it is in closed beta. Uh, beta keys took me a little while to obtain, but um, I say uh, keep a keep track of the game, stay up to date with it on Steam. It should be available sometime in January, I believe. So that's really really soon. It's right around the corner. It's gonna be on Steam uh, early access because it was it got greenlit. So, I mean, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, this is a game 10 out of 10 so far. I strongly suggest I absolutely love this game, and I think you guys should um should should really, really check it out. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.